Welcome to Taiwan News. I'm Viet Cường. Nice to meet you on the Day of Women. So happy International Women's Day to all the women around the world. And the first information we bring you now is the headline. An assembly of female leaders and managers on International Women's Day. Korea Environmental Industry and Technology Institute explores opportunities to invest in Taiwan. Song Kong Tao onwards to industrial development. On the occasion of 102 years of the International Women's Day, the 8th of March, on March 7th, Taiwan Committee for the Advancement of Women assembled and congratulated the women leaders and managers of the province. In this moment of togetherness, the female leaders of the province share their experiences and successes as well as difficulties and barriers in management. They also reiterated their wish that in the future, the provincial leaders would pay more attention to planning, training, retraining, and utilizing the female force in the leadership and management to help meet the requirements of industrialization and modernization of the country. Taiwan provincial leaders highly appreciated and warmly praised the efforts and contributions of women in general and women leaders and managers in particular to the development of Taiwan province and encouraged them to continue contributing and devoting their talents and determining their roles in performing assigned tasks. And to show their appreciation, the leaders of the Provincial Party Committee, Provincial People's Committee, donated flowers and gifts to the former and standing leaders of the province on the International Women's Day. On March 4th, Mr. Niu Van Tum, Vice Chairman of Taiwan People's Committee, met with the Small and Medium Enterprise Association of Taiwan Province. Taiwan Small and Medium Enterprise Association has 157 members, of which nearly 50% of business leaders are women. For years, small and medium enterprises in Taiwan Province have considerably contributed to the economic development and social welfare of the whole province. At the meeting, the enterprises show their determination and efforts to efficiently develop production and business, overcoming the difficulties in the time of economic crisis in the world and the region, and fighting against the fluctuation of domestic market and increasing inflation. On the occasion of the International Women's Day, Mr. Nhu Van Tum encouraged businesses to focus resources to help grow the provincial economy even more. He also sent his congratulations to the women entrepreneurs and hoped that they will achieve more fruitful results in their business, deserving the beautiful flowers in the business association and their daily lives. On the occasion of the International Women's Day, the 8th of March, Taiwan City leaders visited and gave presents to the heroic Vietnamese mothers of Taiwan City on March 5th. Taiwan City is proud to have three heroic Vietnamese mothers who survived two unforgettable wars against foreign invaders. The city leaders took time to personally see them on this celebrated day for women. The leaders assure them that the government and the people of Taiwan City will forever be indebted to their patriotic sacrifice for the good of the country. The loss of their families contributed to the realization of independence, freedom for Vietnam and its people. On the occasion of International Women's Day, the delegation wished the mothers good health, setting a bright example for the generations to follow. These visiting activities reflect the spirit of gratitude, drinking water, remembering thoughts of the Vietnamese towards the policy beneficiaries who have contributed to the revolution. Recently, the Environment Industry and Technology Institute, under the Korea Ministry of Environment, met with the authorities of Taiwan province to learn about the investment environment and the feasibility of the waste treatment and environment project in Taiwan province. The delegation worked with the Department of Planning and Investment and Industrial Zone Management Board of Taiwan province. Mr. Nguyễn Đức Minh, Provincial Party's member, Director of Taiwan Department of Planning and Investment, introduced the potentiality and advantages at the industrial zones in the province. On this basis, Taiwan province hoped that 
Korean investors in all industries would invest in Taiwan province, particularly on waste treatment. In recent years, South Korea heavily invested in researching and handling waste treatment. This is due to the fact that the waste treatment technology export is one of the key new exports of this East Asian country. During the meeting, representatives of Taiwan province and South Korea signed a memorandum of understanding in cooperation, under which the Department of Planning and Investment will meet the connecting agencies to coordinate the waste treatment projects in Taiwan province with some Korean investors. Industrial development is considered to be the decisive factor for Taiwan province to become an industrialized province towards modernization by 2020. 2011 was a hard year coupled with many challenges, but Taiwan set the tasks to promote a comprehensive industry. Aside from attracting projects, the industrial section generally needs to mobilize the strength of its localities, including Song Kong Tao. Besides Fu Yen and Taiwan City, Song Kong Tao has many favorable conditions for industrial development. The announced plan of Song Kong Industrial Zone 2, which was initially supported by the residents in four villages of Tun Quang Commune, has confirmed the role of Song Kong Tao. I believe that the project of Song Kong Industrial Zone 2 will be the moving factor for the local economic development and the entire province, so I am very excited when the project is implemented in Tân Quang Commune, Song Kong Tao. The target of Song Kong Industrial Zone 2 is to diversify its industrial sectors from mechanic, electric and electronic appliances to garment and footwares with particular functional groups in an area of 250 hectares, which will form a network to link with Song Kong 1 and the M3 industrial zones when production began. In the near future, with the completion of major transport projects, Phu Yen, Phu Bing districts and Song Kong town will be the destination of investors. Tân Quang Commune now has 99% of people who work in agriculture. The implementation of the project of Song Kong Industrial Zone 2 promises to help move it into non-agricultural sector and will eventually improve people's living conditions. With 6% of natural land, industrial production has contributed 80% of economic structure of Song Kong Town. The plan which was announced in Song Kong Industrial Zone 2 promises to be a condition for Song Kong Tao to fulfill the criteria of economic to the industrial production value of Taiwan. It is expected that there will be many challenges in 2012. Therefore, enterprises in Taiwan still need the attention of the authorities as well as macro mechanisms. Song Kong Tao will enhance the industrial production and training to improve management competency of the business owners and give reasonable credit policies to create favorable conditions for business activities in the area. In 2011, the provincial industrial value reached 13,200 billion Vietnam dong. In Song Kong Tao alone, it was over 4,600 billion Vietnam dong. The development of industry in Song Kong Tao has strong effects on the aspect of industry of Taiwan province. It is time for the local authority, people and businesses in Song Kong Tao to gather their efforts and confirm its position in the rise of Taiwan province. And that's the last information for today. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye and see you again.